Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we have a model that I completely forgot I owned and I found him buried in the garage. Um, that is the Salty Sea Devil from Malifaux. I think he was a special release a while back and I want to say he's supposed to be a stand-in. Oh, it says right here. Model counts as Rogue Necromancy. So, yeah. I want to say he was around the time that they did the Silent Night. Maybe it was around... Uh, Black Friday then? Sadly he didn't show up at Gen Con. So it is plastic. And it is a big giant angler fish man. For an LFO model. This looks pretty reasonable until then you see the nice little fish hook. That is its own individual piece. 50 millimeter base. Are these the new ones? I don't know. Nice big card with our angler friend on it. And all the alt necromancy rules as well. He still has his projectile vomit. That's always fun. So, this does not look too bad. I mean, if you've built any Malifaux models, this really shouldn't be an issue for you. And I honestly have no idea if these are even readily available anymore. But, hey, that's what half the point of these obscurities and miniatures are. So sit tight, we're going to put them together. We'll grab a couple other Malifaux models if I've got any laying around. And we'll see how they stack up. All right, well, we put our Salty Sea Devil all together for the most part. And I say for the most part because, well, his little fish hook slipped off his mouth, unfortunately. You can see, I, I wasn't sure where to glue it on, and I realized eventually that it's actually supposed to be right there. I don't know why I didn't bother to look very carefully, but yeah, I've forgotten that you can actually get all those directions on Weird's website if you ever want to not frustrate yourself putting things together. Uh, overall, he's pretty simplistic. I mean, it wasn't like he was super complicated or anything. Just getting that little fish hook, that's probably the biggest challenge. But who doesn't love a nice big giant fish man? I mean, there's plenty of uses for this guy besides obviously using him as a, what is it, the rogue necromancy? Yeah, that's what it was. I can't remember which crew he was supposed to go with. But if you're curious how he stacks up with other models, um, he is a good size if you wanted to go the ogre route, throw him in with some river trolls or something in your fantasy type games. I mean, yeah, he is wearing pants. That's not very trollish, but I guess it is somewhat ogre-like. You've seen some actual Malifaux models. We'll grab a couple of alt figures, I guess. Or, well, at least one alt. This is the alt Rafkin here. I'm quite fond of. She's shown up in videos before. She's like one of the first things I think comes up if you search on Google even, is my version of her. Vanessa from the latest Victoria's box, the Forgotten Marshal there. Throw in a South Wales borderer from the other side. So you can see he's in pretty good company in terms of, I'm pretty sure last I remember seeing a rogue necromancy, it's on a 50 millimeter base. Not as big as Euripides, but he's just an awesome model anyways. But that's half the fun of tracking down these alternative versions, especially when they get done in plastic. They're just fun kits to try to hunt down uh, and, you know, do something different with your Malifaux collection. Or if you're like me and you have most of this stuff, I actually had a couple of Rogue Necromancies. I want to say there was an alternative one that seems to be popping up in my head besides this guy. I could be wrong, and I could just be daydreaming, which is entirely possible as well, but I don't know that I put one together ages ago. I don't know where it is now, but <laughs> at least I've got a nice big fishman. My first thought, actually, was using him in Carnivale. Um, I can't think of the name of the fishman faction at the moment. My brain just went dead. I wasn't a fan of the big, fat versions that were included in the starter set, so he might make a nice alternate proxy. And it's not like I'm always having constantly fish dudes anyways with, like, Hadros from a uh, Rabbit King. So, fun little model. Good luck hunting it down. That's half the fun with these Malifaux things. Maybe you'll get lucky. With that said, at the very least, you'll be able to probably track one down during one of the major sales, Gen Con or Black Friday or the holidays or anything like that so yeah i'll put a link down below to weird's website that way you can keep your eyes on things if you do want to track one down now with that said this has been high lord tamberlane with obscurities and miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon bye bye